Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this leaf and create a scatter brush from it. First open a new document, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to black. Now press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw an ellipse. Next we'll reshape it to form a leaf. Select the Convert Anchor Point tool, which is located under the Pen tool. Now click on the Tap Anchor Point, hold and drag. Then switch to the Direct Selection tool and drag a box to select these two anchor points. Click on one of them, hold and drag it down. Select the bottom anchor point and drag it down just a little bit. With the shape still selected, go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Zigzag. Turn on the preview box to better see what we are doing. Now change the points to Smooth, Size to 3 pixels and Ridges per Segment to 3. Next go to Object, Path and choose Add Anchor Points. And let's do it one more time. Next, we'll make the bottom side a little smoother. Drag a box to select the bottom anchor points. Then go to Object, Path and choose Simplify. You can experiment with these settings and click OK. Now go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. And let's delete a few more anchor points at the bottom. Next we'll draw veins. Let's get rid of the fill and change the stroke to white. Press the letter B for the brush tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Make sure the brush is set to round brush and draw a vertical line. Next we'll draw the side lines. Make sure they are overlapping with the vertical line. Press the letter Y for the magic wand tool or select it from the toolbar panel and click on one of the white lines to select all of them at once. Then change the brush definition to basic and choose the width profile number 4. Now increase the stroke's weight to 14 points. Let's reduce the weight of the lines to make the veins smaller towards the top. Select all of the lines again, then go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Let's zoom in, go to the Shape Builder tool and while holding down the ALT key, click on the unwanted parts to delete them. Then open the Pathfinder window and choose Unite. Let's change the color to light grey. I'm going to make an extra copy. Now let's resize it and we are ready to create a scatter brush. First open the brushes window. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Brushes. With the leaf still selected, drag it into this window. Choose the Scatter Brush and click OK. Now change all the options to Random. Select the Rotation relative to Path. Change the Colorization method to Tints and click OK. Now you can delete this shape. Select the new leaf brush from the brushes window. Press the letter B to select the brush tool. Get rid of the fill and change the stroke to whatever color you like. Now draw a path. Double click on the leaf brush and if you like you can adjust the settings. Play with it to see what works best for you. When you are done, click OK and then apply to strokes. If you like, select the path and change the color. Now deselect, choose a different color and draw an ellipse for example. You will notice that the new brush will be applied to any path you draw. Thanks for watching and bye bye.